All of that is happening in the middle of this global pandemic. Today, the coronavirus took the lives of another 43 Michiganders as 659 new cases of the virus have been confirmed. Researchers are constantly learning more about the coronavirus and how it impacts the body. Tonight, two new studies shedding light on the risk from a particular complication and a symptom that should signal you to self-isolate. Dr. Frank George here with a closer look. Doc? Yeah, Devin and Kim, the coronavirus doesn't just damage the lungs, it can also impact the heart. New research suggests that patients who show an enlargement of one of the heart's four chambers are less likely to recover from COVID-19. Researchers at Mount Sinai Hospital looked at health records from more than 100 COVID-19 patients hospitalized between March 26th and April 22nd. They found patients who had an enlarged right ventricle of the heart were more likely to die from the disease. The study authors say the reason isn't clear, but it could be caused by the obstruction of blood flow in the lungs due to blood clots or lung tissue damage. Direct damage to the heart tissue by the coronavirus may also be a contributing factor. The researchers say, based on this finding, doctors could use echocardiograms to help identify COVID-19 patients at higher risk. Several studies have now looked at one of the stranger symptoms of COVID-19, the sudden loss of taste or smell. A new summary in the Journal of the American Medical Association finds it has become a common symptom in COVID-19 patients. Several studies report it is often the first symptom patients notice or even the only symptom. Researchers say people who experience a loss of taste or smell should immediately self-isolate and when possible be tested for COVID-19. Now, because this symptom is often reported in people with mild symptoms or no other symptoms, it could play a significant role in helping identify these patients earlier and reduce the odds of them spreading the disease to others. Now, more research is planned on the significance of this symptom. Most COVID-19 patients regain their sense of taste and smell on their own, but experts say those who don't might benefit from available treatments. Back to you. Fascinating. All right, Frank. Well, it's called Operation Haircut. How barbers and hairstylists tried to send a message to the governor that they want to get back to work. Here's Grant.